Temur, so today we are in a uh, group debate and our group name is Observers. So we hold the opinion that uh, in, uh, death penalty is injustice. So I will start my uh, points that uh, death penalty is uh, most uh, is ultimate cruel and inhuman punishment. Like uh, it is mostly used, uh, you know, against poor and uh, uh, religious minorities. Like if a Muslim stand, uh, if a Muslim claims uh, uh, false allegations against a non-Muslim uh, for being uh, blasphemous, then that non-Muslim would be uh, killed uh, without any special inquiry or investigation. A uh, uh, few months ago, uh, like likewise, uh, Sri Lankan was here uh, uh, burnt alive. For you know, they claimed that he was, uh, you know, bless, bless. He was, you know, bless famous. So uh, and uh, executing someone is an open violation of uh, human right. That is right to life. So we are not authorized to take someone's life. Only God has the authority to give and take lives. Uh, so you know, there is a high chance while executing someone, there is a high chance of killing an innocent because no justice system is uh, that much perfect. And mistakes can be made by anyone. Human, you know, human is an error. And uh, once that person is executed, there is no way back to correct that mistake. So I will tell you a story. A uh, few weeks back, when I was scrolling Facebook, and I came through a video of a guy telling a story of a person. Uh, I don't remember the exact name of that person, but let's say George. That's close enough. So the allegation on George was that he, you know, killed his wife and his daughter, and he was also. Uh, you know, confessing that he had killed them, but after uh, and judge also, you know, told the him to execute him. And after the execution and, and a little bit investigation, it was found that he was innocent. And the person who did it, who killed them, was his, one of his uh, best friend. So you know, he so after that they couldn't you know bring justice to George uh, like he was executed. So he was declared as most innocent criminal, and why he was confessing that he had killed them because he, after that incident, uh, he had become uh, mentally disturbed and he wanted to uh, somehow die. So you would be wondering that if someone kills uh, anybody, doesn't he deserve to be killed? So the answer is big no. Tanmay, I will resume the point that death penalty is injustice. Death penalty is not an effective to deter the crime. There is significant research found that there is no. Uh, there is the death penalty is not uh, an effective to deterrent the crime. Many studies have found that there is no oh, statistically statistically relationship between the use of the death penalty to the crime rates. Uh, and the uh, the death penalty is not uh, deterrent to crime effect. Uh, it is uh, done uh, in the heat of the moment, and the perpetrator may not uh, rationally thinking about the potential consequences of his actions in such way that uh, in, in that way the fear of death penalty was uh, uh, exalted by the perpetrators, perpetrators and, uh, and as we as we should the experience of the past past uh, it is clear that the death penalty is not an effective to the death uh, de deter the crime and uh, Almost the two third of the countries on the globe have abolished that law. Means almost 144 countries have abolished the law. But the utter surprise was that the 55 countries now have paid that uh, penalty. If the death penalty was an effective, so why the developed countries like Japan, uh, Denmark, Portugal have that abolished the death penalty? The countries which have not abolished the countries, uh, the death penalty are like Pakistan, South uh, India, Bangladesh. Means uh, as we take in, uh, the South Asian countries are on the top of the list in crime cases. And uh, also the death penalty is uh, kept by themselves. Thank you. Marcel Mudassir says we are supporting death penalty should uh, not be banned. So I think we have to give chance to criminal because there are jails. If uh, uh, this message, uh, this my message is for my opponent that you are appealing for death penalty. I think you should appeal for the good jails, good uh, for good prisons because uh, these are the reform center where criminal. Uh, reform their cell we have to give them condition that uh, we give uh, we sh uh, we should give them education and not death penalty or capital punishment because uh, 
uh, as my friend said that uh, innocent people are uh, also uh, attacked by these penalties so sometimes uh, means a few months ago there uh, i have heard about an incident that a guy was fully drunk and he killed a person so he doesn't means killed with his heart he was fully drunk so means in this case he was uh, means uh, assured uh, means uh, given that penalty so i don't think that that penalty is good and as my friend said there are 144 countries which have abolished ba uh, and banned the death penalties because of something because uh, and these all are the developed countries i want to tell you that now in pakistan there is a death penalty but there are also crimes and uh, this is uh, there are too many crimes than other countries like want to give example of china there is no death penalties and there are also no crimes I means almost no crimes but in pakistan we have death penalty but we we are I means good in crime we are not good in means give, uh, so want to tell you that just appeal for reform centers uh, and appeal government for jails to improve jails what uh, want to tell you that what is going in our jails jails our reform centers the means there is a bad condition of our jails you just go and means uh, advertise these things that the cigarettes the means uh, addiction is going on in the jails even these are the reform centers where criminals reform their self where we should give education but on their on the place of education we are giving them drugs so i think they should appeal for the reform center not for death penalties if they are uh, giving death penalties yes they must give death penalties but on one condition when they are means highly proved when their crime is high and i think you don't forget that you are in pakistan here innocents are are hanged on the uh, death penalties and criminals are saved because of their high high uh, means high because of their relationships because of money so I want to tell you that this is pakistan ev here everything going on corruption so so myself mustaqli so my opinion is that death penalty doesn't prevent crime so now according to, to the research there is no credible evidence that death penalty is deters crime more effectively than a present term <coughs> In fact, crime figures from countries that they have abolished death penalty, they are their their crimes are not <coughs> rising. And in Canada, the murder rate in in two thousand eight was less than a half. That in nineteen seventy six, when the death penalty was abolished, yeah, the the death penalty puts innocent lives at risk. So now, like if a innocent person was arrested and taking him into the court and court announced him the death penalty, so you are going to done a biggest <coughs> injustice with the that poor that innocent person and the innocent the innocent person going to lose his life without done any crime and any murder. So like the. Now retired Supreme Court Judge Stephen R. Stephen Breyer makes the case the case that the death penalty death death penalty violates the U.S. Constitution, specifying the Eighth Amendment, which forbids cruel and unusual punishment. So thank you. So earlier it's me, Vaish Mali, that I am supporting the topic injustice with death of penalty. And when you know that everyone has the law that means do not do crime, do means when some. When means someone when do crime means they are not better means but there is also some means law means there are also some punishments but I tell you that means when when physically mental person means doing some means crime we means we doing it but we in our country see that mentally person means doing doing crime mentally person doing crime but but means mentally means they are punishment means they are not admitted in a great hospitals great hospitals now in in many countries means they they are get life from the mentally persons mentally persons and i am telling that means we not get from the life of mentally persons mentally persons mentally persons means they have also life to to enjoy the life and means and you know that in our country must most terrorism increased most ten deaths by means of our law means when when rich person doing crime again again means again again means they are and they you know that in our Pakistan people life enjoying with the money 
life is enjoying with the money even say if people have money they are also come out from the jails in the jails that's present so it's time for the question questions if anyone has the question may ask okay mr hamid has a question he may ask i have a question for mr taimur so as you said god can only give and take lives so then why companies of holy prophet peace be upon used to fight with enemies and slay them and kill them so i think uh, uh, if someone is doing crime we should give him a death penalty and it will be a threat for others and others will not do so you know there are uh, multiple you know alternatives of death penalty and uh, you know when a criminal is you know committing a crime he is not afraid of death that's why he is committing that crime Uh, you know once you uh, give him death penalty he is uh, you know uh, gets uh, freedom from uh, this world but if you you know choose the alternatives of death penalty then he may suffer and it can be you know uh, so it can be a great lesson for uh, other criminals so they may not commit any crime she has a question he may ask from any a question for mudassir khaskeli that what are your thoughts upon those people who was sent to jail for some years and after getting released they did the same thing they still uh, did crime and they continued their journey of crime and since what are your thoughts on those people so my friends i think you have forgot the condition of our jails and reform centers in reform centers they should give education but in our reform centers this is uh, means they are not giving education so i think this is much for you now, i have a question for mr tembur that uh, a mother was gang raped in front of her child but do you think uh, they deserve to die or not so you are talking about the uh, lahore motorway so uh, we we support that uh, these uh, these criminals uh, should be hanged publicly but uh, we say that uh, death penalty should be changed in the law and uh, once the law is changed we should be we should avoid to the law and the, these criminals should you know be uh, go through these severe punishments rather than the uh, death pen- death penalties like their hands should be cut or your you know there are many more punishments than that of uh, death penalty